there are two clips in all which we are going to show in some time. One is a clip of a bookie called Monubhai. Another is a clip of a bookie who's a big time real estate operator who's operating out of Gurgaon. Both, both the clips are going to be shown once again in some time. On the news out tonight, before I go back to those clips, big story tonight. Bishan Singh Bedi, former India captain, Atul Vasan, Times Now's cricket expert, B. Krishna Swami. Senior sports writer, commentator, he's associated with the IPL as well. Pradeep Magazine, senior sports journalist. Mr. Bedi, can the BCCI just dismiss this? Should it just dismiss this, in your view? Or should it look at it seriously and begin some kind of a clean-up operation? Well, uh, Anab, uh, neither the BCCI nor the ICC can dismiss this uh, particular expose they very easily. I'd like to think that they have a problem on hand. Not now. They've had it for a long, long time. Yep. But let me also tell you that cricket is the only sport which reflects the time you live in. And this is not the only expose you're talking about, Anna. We have heard so many things about communal games and various other um, political um, upheavals. But how can cricket be an exception? No, but that's no answer. That, Tell that's, me. that, that doesn't cricket, justify anything. Yeah. I've got the Sunday Times newspaper in my no, hand. No, it doesn't. I, 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 there's something, I, there's just some... a minute. I'm not, just, I'm, not, I'm not trying to justify. I'm just saying that this expose from um, the... Sunday Times. London Times, Sunday yeah. Times in, in England, it yeah. is... Uh, I, I would have appreciated if there was, you know, the, the, the some authentic information. You don't think this from is these authentic? Guys who've been you, you don't think this is authentic? Well, let me hold it up. I don't know. There, there, there is, just no, got there a copy. Is, just got there a copy is still of this. room. Just got a Hang copy on, of just, the Sunday just Times. Just a minute, just a minute, Anna. There is still, there is room for, I'm not, I'm not taking it, take, you know, not saying that ICC or the BCCI are terribly clean organizations, but I am hurt as a cricketer that the name of Indian team is being dragged into it when they played the semi-finals against Pakistan. I think that is a load of rubbish, really. Okay. So, so, so a lot of people, cricket fans, are also equally upset about what's going on. Vishen Singh, Bedi, Atul Vasan, can we bury our heads in the sand? You know, I'm upset. All Indian fans are upset. You're talking about the Indian cricket team like this. But the fact that someone's talking about it, even loosely, a number of people are talking about it. They're caught on camera. They're published in a respected newspaper. Indian cricket is being talked about in such loose terms. Can we just say this is a conspiracy to malign Indian cricket? Can we just say it's a conspiracy and then say, you know, load of rubbish. We are not going to respond to drunk bookies. No, I don't think so. It's a conspiracy. I think it's just one of those things because, you know, betting is rampant, gambling is rampant. And these bookies actually, uh, you know, without substantial proof, they're talking through their hat, you know, unless we know. And every time if we react, if some uh, expose like this comes up or sting operation, <coughs> then you'll be shouting yourself hoarse. You know, we saw conclusive proof, tangible proof, and three cricketers went to jail. I mean, that was no, brilliant, no, you know. And Lesser said about the British Fleet Street, the, 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 the better it is, you know, in the backdrop of news of the world and all that. But I'm just saying, no, you know, but if, when the Hansi Kronia, time, when the Hansi uh, Kronia scandal erupted, you remember, yeah. Atul, it was dismissed. Yeah. When the news of the world scandal, I know, no, no, no. when the news no, of the no, world scandal yes, but, but, exposed Pakistani cricketers, then Mazhar Majid's credibility was questioned. I mean, are we being too quick? To dismiss these allegations, despite no, no, instances I know. No, in every the past time. when there you has know, been some truth. Oh, no, I'm just up. saying that, you know, people will try and push them. But these bookies, you know, uh, they cannot operate without the punters. And they try to influence or fool the punters by saying that, okay, I am in the loop and you pay me so much. And when it turns out right, they go for it. If it turns out, doesn't turn turns out, they say, okay, we'll make it up for next game. So everybody is trying to, you know, say, but I cannot believe that, you know, these allegations or these big claims are true because anybody can talk like this. Unless we get some proof, how can the ICC or BCCI move? All I, we can I do is be more vigilant, you know, and you cannot root out people trying to fix matches or, or betting. I, I, I just want to know here today, the why do we have the same response from the International Cricket Council? I mean, today, if you run a corporation, right, if you run a corporation, and you find that there is a, someone making a charge, a whistleblower says someone making a charge of an unethical practice 
or an act of corruption even within a private organization, the management of that organization and the board of directors are going to come down and come down real hard to make sure that the credibility of the corporation is not affected. My question today is, the BCCI says no, I have just received, my sports editor just came in and gave me this reaction of the ICC, it's dismissing it. Uh, the story carried by the newspaper, the ICC has no reason or evidence to require an investigation into this match. It is sad for spurious claims to be made, which will only serve to doubt one of the semi-finals of the most successful ICC Cricket World Cups ever. Now, that, that, that is fine. Now, what we are also talking about, Mr. Krishnaswamy, is the IPL, the EPL, the BPL, all forms of T20 cricket. Right, Mr. Krishnaswamy? <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know what I, what I, you know, I would tend to agree with Bishan to quite an extent that it has now become symptomatic of our uh, society. But I would disagree with Atul in the saying that it, these are all rubbish claims. Of course, till the time that there is evidence, we would call it rubbish. But at the same time, the very fact that such charges are being repeated <coughs> every now and then exactly. means that they can't be smoke without, fire, or rather, they can't be fire without smoke, or whichever way you look at it. The fact is that there is rot within cricket. Now, virtually every match that you look at, whether it's a test match, a one-day match, or a T20, or the IPL, or the BPL, or whichever uh, Premier League it is, in whichever corner of the world, it's now being looked at with a lot of suspicion. Every cricket match is now, is a kind of, you know, no. you know, you look at it, oh my God, is it really serious? If a batsman gets run out, you suspect him. If a bowler drops a, if well, a bowler there is drops an opportunity. a return catch, or there is, you know, a catch being dropped, or something, whatever happens, it's, jo it's looked at with a jaundice No, so whose eye. fault is so it? At the end of the day, no, who, it's are you, the are you saying now got a trust I, I, deficit, as you very rightly put. No. And I think it is time for a toothless ICC to start doing something. Ah, that's the point. The ICC with its constituent bodies, now the English Cricket Board, the Indian Cricket Board, Totally. The Pakistan Cricket Board, the South African Cricket Board, all of them have in some way or the other been involved in or rather been mentioned. No, so in why, this why kind is of Mr. Sharad Pawar not acting? Over the past 10 years. Why is I Mr. think all of them need to get together and do this and clean it up before we all stop watching cricket. You see, these denials have never worked, have they, Pradeep? And I'm going to tell <coughs> our viewers, I'm going to play that sting operation clip right now. I mean, you, you know, men in Westfield is serving time in jail for in the first instance of fixing in a country. If nothing else, this proves that corruption exists in county cricket, it cannot be dismissed easily. So are we saying today it can exist in county Absolutely. cricket, but, but EPL, BPL, IPL are covered with a thick coat of credibility, a coat so thick that it is impervious to any act of corruption. Can we say that anymore? <laughs> Anav, is this for me? Yeah, it's for you, Pradeep. Yeah, that's for you. Look, the problem with hmm. problem with cricket is not just the allegations of match fixing or or the match fixing or spot fixing itself, where cricketers have been punished and charged. The larger problem is, as you were showing, that there are these allegations that a cricket official, who happens to be a cabinet minister as well, is also involved with some kind of a scandal. You know, each state association gets 20 crore rupees a year. Oh, totally. Which, which cricket board? gives distributes to its state associations as profits which they get they distribute them so 20 30 crores each are distributed to state association officials who happen to be important people in our country and where does that money go as this jnk scandal suggests that we you can see where that money goes when the officials themselves are involved in these kind of a things their responses like they were earlier in 2000 or they are now are the same that look, there is nothing happening because they are worried that, that once you kind of investigate, God knows where it ends. The way it happened during Hensi Kronia's no, time. So you don't want an the investigation. The second issue here is that, yes, I have a problem with the Sunday Times stories in the sense that you, you go ahead and uh, write things which you have substantial proof. Do they have enough proof with it? One thing one can say, as you said, that that the story has been done keeping English cricket in mind. They are not directly attacking it. It's a story not about Indian cricket. It's a story about Indian bookies paying money to English cricketers, paying money in county cricket. That is the reason why, why we can't say that the Sunday Times story is being done to malign <coughs> Indian cricket. It's a Sunday Times story done by a man who was involved with the sting operation. So, but why, which, why which, are we... Or which found out evidence against no, Pakistan. But why are we scared of an investigation? The He's the same reporter who has done this sting operation. So, whether, there are, whether he has proof or not, I think the establishment has to take care. It has to find out 
who these bookies are. I think Indian board should complain to the police. They should get that no, but who's evidence complaining? from the Sunday Times and proceed and find who's out what nobody's these complaining. bookies no, no, are making sec. rather than Pr saying Pradeep, that nothing is happening. Pradeep, nobody is complaining. Nobody is acting. We asked the Delhi police, nobody told us they're doing anything. The BCCI denied, ICC denied, and tomorrow life goes on as usual, <coughs> right? That's what's happening, oh, no. Atul. That's, that's how it... And there will be no, ICS. No, you know, you there know, will be every ICS series. against whom... Uh, against IP, in IPL, four years of IPL, <laughs> the kind of uh, acquisition, allegations <coughs> one no. hears, and uh, the board, which is responsible for IPL, the kind of money which is involved there, the kind of destruction it has done to our own cricket internationally. So all these issues involved, I, why would Indian board react? Indian board, I feel, is responsible for a lot of mess. It, it no. may not be... Uh, Atul, I know, is shaking his head, but uh, the fact Atul, is that Atul there doesn't is agree with deep rooted no, corruption no, no, in cricket Order. because there is too Atul. much of money involved in it. Atul, Atul, go on. How can, how can you monitor or police every player everywhere in the world, you know? Uh, in domestic cricket, it's more likely to happen. The, the main problem is that is enough pol policing done. Where betting is illegal, every other guy on the street is a punter. And punter can't exist without a bookie. So I think every series we get to hear this news that three bookies got arrested, what happens to them? They get bail in the evening. So, you know, again, that the whole thing, they are back in and then some of them try and, and throw these stories around that they know the players, they are fixing matches, so punters come to them. You know, how do we know whether who is telling right? So, I don't think so that we should react in such a way and look at cricket uh, with these eyes every time somebody comes up and speaks uh, uh, like that. I think the, it's the, the, the deterrent should be the law, should be more stringent against there is an, betting, there is against an illegal those gambling. pictures are there. The The evidence of the, there are two guys who are pictures are there. We don't know who they are, but once their faces are there, their names are there. What stops the BCCI to tell the police that I'm they have you, made these allegations? Well, well, I'm asking you. The, the, uh, I'm asking you. Sunday Times, give us precisely. these uh, uh, pictures, precisely. give us this thing operation and hand it over to police. Precisely. Make a complaint. Precisely. Let the police investigate what they I, are saying. I, I want to it's know a whether this. Thing to do. I want to know whether this man Monu Bhai or whatever he is. You know, whether he's such a difficult person, whether he's a James Bond 007, that you cannot catch him. I mean, he seems like a portly year old, fairly unfit man. You know, he's not going to run away at supersonic speed from the police. Why is uh, why does the Delhi police not catch him? Why does the Delhi police not catch him? Involved in the 99 scam no, no. of Ansi Cronier. 